continue last video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download the Excel at int, install it, and download data from the Excel at int. Once you log into the Thomson One Banker website, it looks like this. On the left hand side, there's a menu. Click on the tool, then click Office tool. Here on the right hand side, there's download for the Office at int. Click download and save it, run it, install it. Um, there's no username and password needed at this moment, so we just do it. And in this example, I already did that. Um, so once you have installed successfully in the Excel, then you start your Excel workbook. You will notice there will be a Thomson One Banker toolbar. So from here, um, you will notice that. Let me make sure you. The first thing you need to make sure you do is connect it to make the connections here, uh, and you need to put the username and password. You find it on the website here, and click the text connections. Make sure the connection actually works, successfully connected. Then click OK. Then you can start downloading data. Normally, I use two things here. The first simple thing is use the time series downloader, so you can download price. Um, ignore those checking. So just go straight to the price. Keep asking. Okay, it's supposed to it should load up with this one banker price wizard here. And for example, this interface will enable you to download um, the data but for FTSE 100 or or any other companies. So here you will be able to add entity. Let's say you want to do a company 100, then you, you do a search. Okay, so that will be surprisingly you can find that. Let's do it. Keep it simple. Just search for C100. Oh, sorry. You need to find index, that's why. 100, and um, you can get the index. Yeah, And also, you notice that you can get company as well. But in this example, we're going to download um, FTSE 100. You click OK. You can add any other indexes you like. You can add on the interest rate. In this, uh, for example, we, we want GBP um, one month. This is the LIBOR rate, so let's say we take the three months rate and we want to add it here. And uh, then this is the date uh, you want to download. You can put the physical date uh, between, or you say you want to choose last 10 years, let's, f let's say last five years, daily data. And then you click finished. It will ask you, do you want to save it? It's normally you can save it, but in this case I just say no, because I want to show you how it works. I don't know what it means here, but okay, so this will be... This will be the... This will be the information we will receive from the download in the past five years uh, interest rate and the FTSE 100 and you can download the price data for any company you are looking at for your financial statement analysis or maybe for your asset pricing uh, 
uh, modules assignment or for your dissertations you you can download any company's information and more than once and you can put them alongside this way there's a limitation of 250 row on this side but there's no limit on this downside so um, you can explore how many you can uh, how many data you can get in one spreadsheet etc later on you can ex export it to other analytical software the other uh, facility you can do downloading data is like using this report wizard because just now we we're looking at how to download uh, price data this report wizard actually help you download all kind of uh, accounting information for example like all the accounting information for for companies especially you do financial statement analysis you can look at balance sheet items uh, specifically uh, for example we just select account payable let's say we, we choose something more meaningful like uh, rare uh, sales or actually they call it income um, let's say total asset definitely every company will have that Okay, so if we want to download total asset, and also we want to download the total common equity, total debt, and we click OK, that normally would be account data would be annual data. So and then we would need to add entity this time have to be company. Let's say if we want to look at BT, uh, so it would be the BT group, and if we want to look at RBS Royal. Bank okay, and um, we just for the time being we just say leave it as this. The different way of you can organizing the, your data depends on how many period and things like that you want. Here we say in the last three year period, so let's just click finish. And I don't want to save the structure so you can see we can instantly get the the three item for these two companies for the past three years of course we can have even more um, so this is gives us an idea about how to download data for many company instantly if I have any question just um, come and ask me it. hope you find it useful